My name is Sang Mai. I joined Yangon Film School in 2011. This is the only and the first film school in Myanmar. I am now a director for this film called Last Kiss. This is my second film. This is about the conflict between Kachin KIA and then a military government. Once we're doing documentary, then we unveil the lives. Documentary film is finding the unseen truth like underlying truth. Documentary film is like a photo album. So a country without a documentary film is like a family without a photo album. I do a documentary for Solution, since 2005, our Yangon Film School start a workshop, not uh, every year. Uh, when we select our, our our students, we we are really focused on ethnic minority people. Also, our school is very looking for gender balance. We normally choose cis men and cis women. They don't have no knowledge about documentary filmmaking. They have different background. Student has to learn camera, sound, director, editing workshop, color grading, film analysis, and also sound design workshop. They support all the equipment, they even some funding. I can do that I really want to do inside my mind. We got our financial support from the Europe, European Union and we make lots of documentary topics. It's about peace, it's about capacity building in Myanmar, it's about health, it's about everything. Before 2010, we have a very big censorship issue in here. We can't show our film in Myanmar. But in here, after 2010, the government are more open now. That is important for the Burmese people because of some of people, they don't know what is happening in Myanmar. We have lots of ethnic people fighting each other. So that kind of things we have to show what is in that area, the people, what is fighting for. Our media is linking with other people. By supporting the Yangon Film School and Documentary Production in Myanmar, the European Union wishes to improve the skills of the civil society and media freedom, create and support a diverse media culture, thereby promoting the country's transition to a democratic nation. It then contributes to the 8th Millennium Development Goal, aiming to develop good governance and facilitate conflict resolution.